Hi, I'm the History Squirrel from North Hearts Museum and I thought I would start off by talking about myself. Well, me and those like me, black squirrels. Okay, let's talk squirrels. The grey squirrel is the most common in the UK and it originally came from America. About 150 years ago, people bought them over as pets to decorate their gardens with. But as pets sometimes do, they escaped and loved their freedom so much, they decided to stay. Then you've got the black squirrel, which in this country is mainly found around parts of Hertfordshire, Bedfordshire and Cambridge. If you are someone outside of these areas, if they've ever heard of black squirrels, many people will think you're winding them up. This hurts my feelings, as it's like they are saying, I'm not real, which makes me question my existence. There is a bit of a debate as to when and where black squirrels appeared in the UK. We think it started when some escaped from a zoo in Woburn, Bedfordshire in 1912. Then, they were spotted in the wild for the first time in Hertfordshire between 1912 and 1915, either in Hitchin or Letchworth, but we're not 100% sure. In our natural history collection at the museum, we have some taxidermied squirrels. So I will use these to show you what squirrels we have in the UK. You can find grey squirrels, which are the most common, black squirrels, albino or white squirrels, and red squirrels. Oh, oh it just gets worse. Ooh, well, that's better. You know what, let's just do that for all of them. In the UK, we have two species of squirrel. But you've got four there. Oh no. There's the red squirrel, which we'll come back to later. And the grey squirrel. Black squirrels are not a type or species of squirrel on their own. They are grey squirrels. But aren't grey squirrels grey, I hear you cry? That's why they're called grey. No. They are grey squirrels that were born black because their genes said so. Genes, not genes. Genes are the building blocks in all living things. You get them from your parents. These genes or blocks are the things that decide if, for example, you have brown hair or green eyes. Now a grey squirrel has all these building blocks that tell it to be grey when it's born. But sometimes there is a gene hidden away which tells it to be black. If both parents have this gene, then there's a good chance you end up with a jet black squirrel. This is called melanism. Squirrels aren't the only animals to have this genes. This is the similar idea to why you get albino squirrels too. But this black gene had to come from somewhere. There had to be a squirrel ancestor that had the gene to pass on to its children and its children's children and so on. So who's the daddy? He's the daddy. Um, but he's grey? Yes, I know he's grey. This is a fox squirrel and they are found in America. Most are grey, but they can also look like this. So at some point in history, there was a black fox squirrel dad and a grey squirrel mum who had a squirrel that was half and half. Now, as I said before, the black squirrel is a grey one, just with a different coat on. 
they do the same things, they eat the same food, and they also carry the same diseases. Grey squirrels carry a disease called squirrel pox. Grey squirrels can carry it around and are immune to it. And that's the biggest problem because it can spread from squirrel to squirrel really easily. But if a red squirrel catches pox, then they die. And because of this, reds have pretty much gone extinct in England. But in Scotland, there are conservation areas to look after the red squirrels, which helps the population grow bigger. Great news for them, bad news for greys. The greys are banned from the conservation areas and if found, they're killed. So they don't go to waste, some restaurants serve squirrel on their menu. Roast squirrel anyone? If you want to go squirrel spotting, then the best time of day is at dawn and dusk. And they're most active around spring and autumn, when there's lots of food around. But they're pretty common everywhere during the day. Look for places with lots of trees. For black squirrels, North Hearts is a great place to see them. Keep an eye out in Letchworth, Hitchin and the neighbouring villages and you're sure to spot some eventually. See if you can find some of the food they've left behind like acorns and hazelnuts. When a squirrel eats the nut, it will split the shell in half to get the tasty food inside. If you have really sharp eyes and find a patch of mud or snow, you might be lucky and see a footprint of a squirrel. Listen out for squirrels too. They can sound like this. They could be making lots of noise because they're trying to impress their girlfriend or shouting at other squirrels to stay away from their tree or they are shouting at you because you're staring at them and making them feel uncomfortable. If you're looking them straight in the eyes and they're shouting at you, like with many similar situations in life, just walk away and leave them alone. As I said at the start of this video, some people think the idea of a black squirrel is weird because they've never seen one. Well, you think that's weird? Check this out. This is a Malabar giant squirrel. Four times the size of a grey and multicoloured. Brilliant. They live in India. So you won't find one of these in a tree in Hertfordshire, and if you do, call the RSPCA. Immediately. On that note, thanks for watching, and I'll leave you with a Japanese dwarf flying squirrel. Bye bye.